Hi there, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carla Kite and I'm a certified divorce lending professional. So today I want to talk a little bit about, you know, when when there's um, when a couple owns maybe some different rental properties and maybe it's a property that they own prior to the marriage and they think that just because it is only in their name that they can go ahead and sell that property whenever they want. So I want to address that really quickly and talk about it because it's really not on the table to be sold depending on where you're at in the process. Hi, I'm Carla Kite, a certified divorce lending professional, otherwise known as a CDLP. I help couples that are going through divorce to plan for their future in home ownership, whether one person is planning to keep the marital home and the other is buying, or if the plan is to sell the marital home and both purchase new homes. So welcome to my channel, Next Chapter Nest. I'm excited to guide you in the right direction. And this is different for every state, so you really need to check into what your state rules and guidelines are. But if you are getting ready to go through a divorce, you're in the middle of a divorce, um, as soon as you file, like in the state of Colorado, there's something called a temporary injunction. So as soon as you file for divorce, it pretty much freezes all of the assets. And that house, even though it's only in your name, it still is an asset of the marriage. And it still be it might be something that is negotiated that has to be paid out to your ex-spouse, okay? So something else that you'll hear, like a different term in different states, I know in Colorado, it's ATROS. So it's automatic temporary restraining order as it pertains to real property. So I just want you to know that even though you, you think that you have the rights to do whatever you want with it because it's only in your name, you really can't do anything. Now, what you can do is you can get a written approval from both attorneys stating that the property can be sold. And then if there is still a question about who, who should receive the proceeds from the sale of the home, they can put that money into an escrow account and it can sit there until the divorce is final. So a reason that you might want to do this right now is because like, for example, we're coming up on that spring market, that great time to be a seller in the market. And so maybe your divorce is not going to be finalized until sometime in the fall, not the best time to be a seller in the market, right? So if it makes more sense to get it sold right now and you want to get top dollar for your property, just get permission. And then you can sell it and the proceeds can sit in an escrow account until your divorce is finalized and you guys can figure out who actually gets the proceeds or how the proceeds are going to be split. I know a lot of you guys don't even know that those rules are into effect and you think that just because it's in your name you can go ahead and do what you want. But anytime that you're in a marriage, you better double check everything because I will tell you there are cases where people have sold properties like this and they will go back, a judge will go back and he will, he will order that that sale is reversed. So nobody wants to get into a pickle like that because you're causing a lot of grief for everybody down the road, like the new buyers who think that they have a new home, right? So you wanna be really, really careful here and make sure that what you're doing is okay in accordance to, I know a lot of you are contemplating divorce when you're watching these videos and trying to figure out what to do. Just reach out to the experts that can help you in the certain area. If you're, if you're dealing with real property, please make sure that you reach out to me and my team. You can call or text at the phone number that's popping up and we'll set up a time that we can get on a call with you and find out what your goals are and try to help you through this so that you both come out whole on the other side. If it's another expert that you're needing, I have a wonderful list of divorce experts and I'm happy to share that with you or you can reach out in your local market but just find a good expert. Don't reach out to your family, friends, and coworkers looking for advice along something that is really, really important like this. Thank you again for watching.